Greetings. Um, you're watching the uh, Horror Metal Channel. I'm Hellhound, and uh, I was going to film this video tomorrow, uh, but I'm too excited, so <laughs> I just got to do it right now. I found a little bit of extra time today, so I'm going to go do it uh, today. Um, this is going to be my contest entry for Sean Urshan's 800 subscribers contest. That's right, Sean's finally reached into 800 subscribers, and I'm very happy for him. He definitely deserves it, so congratulations once again, uh, bro. And, uh, yeah, very, very, uh, very excited about this. So, um, so yeah, he's, uh, um, created a contest, um, and, uh, this is my entry. I'd previously entered his, uh, 600 subscribers contest, uh, quite a while ago, and actually ended up winning that one, and I got some really awesome prizes, so that was really cool. Thanks once again for that, uh, Sean, and, uh, so, yeah, again, this is his, uh, 800 subscribers contest. I'm really glad he's, uh, made it that far. That's just awesome. Um. So, uh, yeah, um, the, uh, prizes for this one are, uh, a Nightbreed, uh, Director's Cut on Blu-ray, which, uh, I have Nightbreed on DVD, but it's not the Director's Cut, um, I don't have the Director's Cut, and it'd be cool to have it on Blu-ray, so that'd be awesome, um, it's all, uh, also, uh, Tourist Trap, um, on Blu-ray, the uncut version, now, I have Tourist Trap on Blu-ray, uh, but the one he showed in his video, uh, which you've got to check out, by the way. Check out his video. Uh, the one he showed, uh, the cover looked a little different, and I'm not sure if mine is the uncut version or not. Um, I should have looked before I made this video. I'm not sure mine is the uncut version. Regardless, it'd be cool to um, to get that. Um, you know, you can, um, so uh, that'd be cool to have. Um, that's a pretty cool movie. I need to review it. Um, then the next prize is uh, Shin Godzilla on Blu-ray, which is the most recent live-action um Japanese uh, Godzilla film, which I thought was pretty good for the most part. I had a few problems with it, but I thought overall it was uh, pretty uh, enjoyable. Probably one of the most scary uh, Godzilla movies um, I've seen, um, where he's actually the villain again. And he, it's the only one, other than the very first one, where he's the only monster. Well, that and uh, Godzilla, Return of Godzilla, a.k.a. Godzilla 1985 in America. Uh, but anyway, I have that on DVD, of course. I have Shin Godzilla on DVD, but I do not have it on Blu-ray. So that also would be a great prize. Um, then what were the other ones? Uh, I believe Prince of Darkness on Blu-ray, one of the uh, awesome John Carpenter movies. Uh, it has Alice Cooper. He's in it. Um, I don't have. I have that on DVD as well, but I don't have it on Blu-ray. So that would also be a good prize. Um, then also uh, a pinhead uh, action figure uh, done by, or at least by NECA. Um, I actually do have that pinhead figure. I've showed it in, um, uh, uh, on this channel before. I've showed it in a past video. Uh, but hey, it'd be cool to have two of them. Uh, one of them, I guess, will have it on display. And the other one, I'd either keep in the box as a collector's item, or I'd take it out and uh, pose it and you know, do other things with it. Maybe one of my nieces come over to visit and we can, <laughs> and they can play with their Barbies and I can play with the pinhead <laughs> figure with them. That'd be crazy. Uh, can you just picture that pinhead, you know, having... The chains come out of nowhere and be ripping the Barbies <laughs> to shreds. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't actually do that, but it would be funny to think about. Um, and the last uh, uh, prize is a reanimator poster, which I do have a reanimator poster in my bedroom, the bigger one. Uh, the one he's given away is a smaller one, and uh, if I won, if I ended up winning, which would be really cool, um, I'd probably put it in my living room. So uh, I can never have too many reanimator posters. But uh, anyway, okay, I spent too much time on that. Let's go ahead and get to the questions. There's four questions. Um, you got to answer all of them, and uh, uh, again, check out his video for more info, but I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure he said that um, one, um, if you leave your answer in the comments of his video, you'll get, it'll be one entry, and if you make a video response, it'll be two uh, entries, so I'm making a video response, of course. Um, yeah, so the first question is, uh, what is the cat's name in Alien, the original Alien from 1979? Um, I'm pretty sure, uh, wasn't it Jonesy, or Jones, or something like that? Uh, yeah, pretty sure it was Jonesy, if I remember correctly. Um, so I'll go with that. Yeah, Jonesy. Um, question number two. What do you think would be the perfect ending to the Halloween franchise, which is, you know, the new uh, reboot continuity, starting with Halloween 2018 and being continued in Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends? Uh, great question, Sean. Um, well, uh, I think I speak for everybody when, uh, obviously, I want Busta Rhymes to return and uh, use his kung fu to kill Michael. I mean, pff, duh, is it obvious? I think everybody can agree on that one. Uh, yeah, Buster Rhymes needs to come back and kick Michael's ass. That's what everybody wants to see, right? Uh, <laughs> no. Um, no, of course not. Um, 
Uh, yeah, honestly, I, you know, I, I, I kind of wanted there to be a definitive end. I wanted Michael to be, you know, killed once and for all, kind of like an H two O, where he got his head, cut, he got his head cut off. Of course, they retconned that in Resurrection, but, um, but yeah, they can't do the decapitation again. They already did that. They already did the beheading. So, uh, you know, something like that. Maybe he gets dismembered or something. But I thought about it more, and I don't really want to see Michael Myers get cut into pieces. Uh, we already seen that explosions and fire don't kill him, uh, so I don't really know what definitive way they could use to off him. And, uh, you know, upon thinking about it even further, I kind of don't want him to die. And I even kind of want him to win at the end. You know, I don't really want Lori to die either. Um, so I'm not really sure how they would do that. But I kind of want the, it to end with him just walking away and disappearing into the darkness. Just, you know, into the shadows and just never being heard from again. The only thing, bad thing about that is it leaves it open and people would probably expect a sequel. But, um, you know, the Christopher Nolan Batman trilogy never got a fourth film. So, you know, why... Uh, they don't necessarily have to continue, even if he does survive. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't really know. I probably I probably come with a better answer if I spent more time on it. But yeah, I kind of I don't want him to die. And I kind of want him to win. So I don't know how they'd go about that. But uh, yeah, something like that. Um, again, if I, I should probably think about that a little more. But let's go ahead and move on. Uh, question number three: um, How does Dracula die in Dracula's Risen from the Grave, which was the uh, fourth Hammer Dracula film? Um, but the third to feature Christopher Lee as Dracula. He wasn't in the second one, Brides of Dracula. Um, yeah, pretty sure it was the fourth um, overall. Um, now, I actually talked about that in my uh, my response to Sean Urshan's Ultimate Dracula tag. So check that out if you haven't already. I talked about that a little bit. Um, but yeah, he, anyway, the way he dies is, hold on! He uh, falls off a cliff and he's impaled on a cross and then slowly dissolves and disintegrates and turns into dust. Really awesome ending. That was a great way to kill Dracula. That's my favorite way they've ever killed Dracula in any uh, movie. Um, him being burned up in the sunlight at the end of horror Dracula was really cool too. Uh, especially in the, uh, uh, un, um, the uncensored, uh, uncut version. Check that out. It's on YouTube. It's awesome. Uh, but yeah, anyway, yeah, he falls on the cross. He's impaled and disintegrates. That's how he dies in uh, Dracula's Risen from the Grave. Awesome death scene. Um, so yeah, um, alright, question number four. How many Dario Argento's films did Goblin compose the score to? Um, yeah, Goblin's awesome. They, they always did a good job, um, with movie scores. I think they scored a, a, a few, um, Lucio Fulci films as well, pretty sure. Um, so yeah, but this is just about the Dario Argento films that they, that they did the score, that they, uh, composed. Um, uh, off the top of my head, I know Deep Red, uh, Phenomena... And I think they did at least one song for Suspiria. I don't know if they composed the whole score, the whole soundtrack or not. Um, but they did at least one song. So I guess technically three that I can think of. There might have been more. Um, yeah, I guess I could have cheated and looked it up. But I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to go from memory. So yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, definitely Deep Red, Phenomenon, uh, and maybe Suspiria if that counts. But I think it was only one song, like I said. So, yeah, at least at least three, I guess. That'll, that'll be my guess. Um, I don't know if you have to get all these answers correct. Um, or or uh, the second one's obviously a matter of opinion. But the other three, I don't know if you have to get them correct or not to be eligible for a contest entry. I think you just have to film a response regardless of whether you answer them correctly or not. But uh, but anyway, yeah, I'll go with that. Three. Three Dario Gento films were uh, scored by... Um, Goblin, who did an awesome job. Um, all right, guys. Well, uh, that's been my uh, contest entry for Sean Urshan's uh, 800 subscribers contest on the horror corner. Check out his original video. Feel free to enter his contest. I highly encourage that you do. Um, highly recommend that. So, um, yeah, suggest you enter his contest as well. Um, check out his original video and definitely subscribe to his channel. Um, so, yeah. Um, all right, guys. That's about it. Uh, congratulations once again, Sean Urshan. Uh, keep up the good work. Um, I'm Hellhound. Thank you for watching the Horror Metal channel. And until next time, later.